This is the Inspiristar, kind of the LCD model, which has, um, it's which is programmable. It's not manual, we can't manually input frequencies, but it's good enough for a patient in order if they had to take it home, uh, rent it from their practitioner, or even buy their own unit. I'd advise to buy these ones versus the, the ones that don't have a physical screen, just so that you have a better understanding of what you actually are applying to your body when you're given protocols. So very simply, you can see off button, on button, pause button, uh, protocol list button. You can, in terms of the input, you can increase the current to make it a little bit more intense. Um, you have a backlight button in order to open the LCD screen to see the backlight so it shines better. And then of course, um, your cursor is kind of going up and down. So let's open it up. So there's a start menu. Um, we can press stop there. We have protocols available here. That's turning off again, second time. We're going back there. Um, we can go to protocols. If we press back here, it says all protocols, recent protocols, history protocols, batch protocols, settings, and about. I just like to go to about sometimes so that you can understand too, if you go there, option number six, you can see what version you have, of course, but it's more important for the home user, battery status. So back right there, so now you can see, it tells you how much battery you have left in order so you can understand um, if you're gonna be able to run it through a protocol. So let's go back now and let's go to protocols. So now in this machine, you can hold up to 99 protocols uh, overall. So that's a lot for an average user um, if you're using it at home yourself. But in general, um, it's very simple to use. All you gotta do is like if your practitioner has kind of uh, programmed the machine for you, then you'll know the different protocols that are available for you. They'll, tell, they'll give you a list. Once they give you that list, you'll be able to go through it. So example, let's say we wanna work on, uh, let's go emotional relax. So all we do is press start on that. So now you can see here, there's two red lights going on, right? So like we said in the previously that if these red lights are on, that means nothing is connected to the person. So if we had then the gloves kind of already locked in here and they were connected to a person, then that backlight, these, these lights here would not go on. But that's just kind of for troubleshooting to understand that there, if there's a connection or not. And then of course, if the lights are on, like it says, when we're doing that, then you must check the connection to make sure that the person is connected um, so that in order for the frequencies to be able to go on the body. So we pause that. So you can pause it during it. You can also, when you're utilizing, let's put the back line on again, you can actually increase the, we said the intensity, which is the current. So you can see right here, it's a uh, 100 microamps. So you can increase that as needed. And as you increase, you don't need to increase it at all. I think keep it whatever your practitioner told you to do or your doctor, because um, that's probably the best for you because it's not wise for everybody to increase that. But if needed, you can decrease it too, if it's too much in terms of the output on you. So then we have, of course, uh, the amount of time the protocol has been running for, the amount of time the specific frequency pairs have been running for. So in this protocol, there's 21 pairs. It's telling you the countdown of how much time is left for that one pair, which is on channel one, 94, and channel two, 200. So that's pretty simple overall. And then of course, we're going through it very simply, go down, there'll be a lot of different protocols. Um, and that's kind of it. There's nothing too special about that. You can press the edit button if you needed to when you go back to the main kind of uh, menu of all protocols. And then you can press the edit button to be able to skip a little bit quicker if you have a lot of protocols in there. So going 10, so that just makes it easier to go towards uh, the protocol. It's like 99 out of 100 or out of the 99 protocols. So that's what it is. And then when, of course, when you're done, you press stop, stop again, turn it off, the end. But guys, thanks again for watching. I hope this was informative. You actually learned something from it just because I want people to understand how to use their, their home units if they, if they have them at home so they can be successful in terms of troubleshooting and just applying them properly and more effectively as needed. So continue to follow me so you can learn more about what we do here at Arena Healing Solutions.